Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And by the end of it, I hope you'll understand what we mean by period, amplitude, and phase shift. We're still talking about trigonometric graphs. We're talking about the period, amplitude, and phase shift of a trigonometric graph. So the definition of amplitude, it's the distance from the mean position to the maximum or the minimum. So down here, we have a trigonometric graph. So remember, I talked about the mean or the middle position of the graph last time. So we went through the graph of something like y equals sine x plus k. Remember, this took the sine graph and shifted it up or down by k. And similarly, this one took the cos graph and shifted up or down by k. And remember, this number k gives the mean or the middle positions. So in this graph here, the mean position is along the x-axis or at x equals zero. That's sort of the middle of the graph. If you cut it along there, it's symmetrical. So the amplitude is the distance from this mean position to either the maximum or the minimum. It's the same number both ways. So the distance up here along the y-axis is two, and similarly, the distance along the y-axis here is two. The amplitude of this graph down here is two. Two. Another way to think of this, it's half the distance between the minimum and the maximum. So for this graph, the minimum is minus 2, the maximum is 2, the distance between minimum and maximum is 4, the amplitude is half of that. So distance from middle to maximum or middle to minimum, and it's also half the distance from the minimum to the maximum. So that's what we mean by amplitude. We're just saying how high or low does the graph go? So when we talk about the period of a trigonometric graph, we're talking about how often, how long it takes along the x-axis for the cycle to be repeated. So for this graph here, if we go like this, we kind of call this yellow one cycle. And if we draw it again, this time in red, this is another cycle. So the period is how long we go across the x-axis per cycle. Another way to think of it is the distance along the x-axis between maximum or minimum. It's the difference between the peaks, the distance between the peaks, or the distance between the troughs. You get the same answer either way. So the distance between this peak and this peak is 180 degrees. The distance between this trough and this trough, 90 to 270, is also 180 degrees. So the period of this graph down here, the length of one cycle is 180 degrees. Now you need to be careful because the period will change depending on whether or not x is in degrees. So here x is in degrees, so that's why the period was 180 degrees. But of course, if we put this in radians, the period would be pi radians. So of course, remember that 180 degrees and pi radians are the same thing. So that's what period and amplitude means. Now phase shift, you've already gone through that. We went through it in a previous video. A phase shift is when you just shift each point to the right or to the left. So if I put a phase shift of 90 degrees on this graph, I just move everything over by 90 degrees. So I'd move the maximum there to 90 degrees and then I'd move this point here to this point here and then the trough would go over here and so on. So in that regard, this black graph is just a phase shift of the first graph in blue. It's just the graph in blue shifted to the right by 90 degrees. And we also discussed the sine and cosine graphs are just phase shifts of each other. So in subsequent lessons, we will learn how to find the equation of such a graph. But for now, we're just going to look at, would this be a cosine or a sine graph? So to determine that, look at where it starts on the y-axis. So if it starts on its mean position, it's a sine graph. Remember y equals sine x starts at zero and then goes up, then down like that. If it starts at its maximum, it's a cosine graph. Because remember y equals cos x starts at one and then it goes down, up, down, up like that. All right. So this graph here in blue, in fact, both of them, they would be cos graphs because the blue one starts at its maximum. 
And then the black is just a phase shift of that. It's just cos shifted over. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.